Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can create a anti-link and anti-ping. Um, so basically what this does is if someone sends a link in your server, then it will delete it and um, send a message to them saying that they cannot do it. Um, and there's also going to be an anti-ping, so if you're the owner of a server and you do not wish to be pinged by um, just uh, random members, then you can also do that as well. So first, I'm gonna paste in my function for is valid URL. This will be in the description. It will be in a, as a pastebin, I think. Um, so let's just wait for this to paste in because my computer is extra light today. There we go. So um, I've seen other videos on this, and they use like the same regexp. So this is called the regexp, and you can basically. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it, but like it's very useful because there are certain things you can do with it and you can tell um, special characters um, apart from normal characters. You can check if there are uh, valid digits and stuff like that. So it's just overall super useful and in this case we're going to use an extra long one um, that determines if it is a URL or not. So um, we're going to create um, something to test the function with, which will be our message content. So this is what so this is what the valid URL is going to be checking. So we can do like var test content is equal to, and this would just be the message dot content. So the content of the message that was sent. Okay, my thing is getting extremely laggy right now. Oh well. Okay. Um. Let's see if I can. Did it just crash again? Nope, okay. We're fine, I think. Um, for some reason we're getting syntax error. Never mind, it was just super laggy. Okay, so now we're going to do an if statement to determine if the message content is a URL. So um, we're gonna do if is valid, and this should just pop up right here if, if you did the function. And in parentheses, we're gonna do our test, test content. Yep. Um, and you could just do this, but if you want to have a bypass channel, such as like self-advertising or something, or a bypass permission, um, what you can actually do is you can do um, double and, okay, and then message.channel.id does not equal. So if this is a valid URL and the message.channel.id does not equal, and you just put the channel ID that, that you don't want uh, links to be deleted in, and for um, permissions, you would do double and, and then message, if the message dot member dot has permission. So if the message dot member does not have the permission, manage, oops, manage messages. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this because I need to actually test this and also I don't have a channel ID because if I switch to Google Chrome, then my computer will probably crash. So let's just leave it like that for now. And now we're going to open up some brackets and tell the bot or the code what to do in this situation. So if the if the content is a is a valid URL, then message delete. So we're going to delete it. And we're also going to message reply. You cannot send links in this server. Okay. So now let's move on to the anti ping. So, um, for the anti ping, we're gonna need to do a try and catch sequence. So, this is because we're gonna be using mentioned users. And if someone sends a, a regular message that says hello, and there is no mentioned user such as hello at Joey Bean, then it will spit out an error. Um, and so that's why we have to catch the error, or else your bot will crash. So, let's just do that. So, let's open up our try. And we're gonna try now, and we're gonna create a variable which is the user. So var mentioned user. So in the message is equal to message dot mentions dot users dot first. Okay. And once we've done that, we're gonna check if their ID is the same as your ID or the the user's ID that you don't want to be ping. So let's just try this in an if statement, and then if um if mentioned oops mentioned and it should pop up here yep mentioned user dot id 
is equal to, and then you just copy your user ID. Um, you should be able to just go to appearance. So click on your user settings, click on appearance and turn on developer mode. Um, and then you can copy your user ID. Um, so I guess I'll just do mine. I don't have this pasted, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to, let's go here. Hopefully my thing doesn't crash. Um, in the meantime, 599. You know what, I'm not going to try and memorize it because I don't know the entire thing, obviously. Um, so it's currently switching over to Discord in the other one, but uh, for now let's just open up some brackets and we're going to do message.delete. Okay, and then we're going to message.reply and we're going to reply, you cannot ping this person. You can add some other stuff if you want, but I'm just going to make this plain and simple. And now it's giving us a syntax error because it um it either expects a try finally or a try catch. So let's just do that really quick. Um catch and then error. We're gonna open up brackets and you actually don't have to like console log anything because this will literally spam your console like continuously because this is basically w the the reason why we're getting this error is because this is on a message sent. So when a message is sent and it tries to do this. And, and there is no mentioned user because I, obviously you're not going to be mentioning users in every single message. Um, it's it, you ha it's going to crash, so you just have to make a catch and you don't have to put anything here. It's just going to catch it for you um, and do nothing else. So let me get my, my current ID. Finally, my promoted. Okay, that's my ID right there. Um, and I think that's it for now. Yeah, that should be it. So let me quickly try and open up my test server. Uh oh, my computer's getting very laggy. Yeah, let's open up a new terminal. I'm not sure if it auto saved or not. I think I think I have it so that it auto saves everything. Yeah, it does. But I'll just save it just in case. Let's open up a new terminal. Okay, and while that's going on, I'm gonna try and... Okay, I, th I think my Google Chrome should be working. Let's just wait for this to load. Uh... Here, let me just drag in Discord really quick and give it some time to... to adjust the size and stuff. Wait, what? Why is it going back? No, come back. Okay, there we go. Um, let's just open this up and wait for it to give us the option to type in node space dot. You can skip for like five seconds or so if you want because this might take a while. In the meantime, oh actually never mind. Let's just type in node space dot. No space dot. Okay. Let's wait for this. Okay. Uh oh, this is. Okay, we should be chilling. Let's just wait for this to turn on. Yep, there we go, finally. So, the first thing that we wanted to check was the link. So, let's get a link really quick. Uh, please let me copy this link. Oh uh, no. Okay, there we go. Let's just copy that. Let's just send it in general. You cannot send links in the server. Um, it should, yeah, it deleted it because I can't delete it anymore. Um, usually what happens is when you, you're like, I'm just going to try this again. Uh oh, music stops. Oh wow, this is literally the laggiest thing in the entire universe. Okay, there we go. So now I deleted it and it sent the message. So now let's let's paste this and actually put some text after this. This is def not a link or anything. 
And that's how we know that it works. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now let's try pinging myself. At Joey Bean. Uh, yep, you cannot ping this person and it deletes it. Pretty sure this will ghost ping you, it won't like disable the ping, but at least your members won't ping you. Um, so, and you can also test this by adding some text or something. So, like, at Joey Bean, help me with my code, please. Yeah, okay, so that all works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry for not uploading in a long time. I've been getting a lot of homework lately. Um, so, hope you understand. And also, if you didn't know, I'm officially uh, releasing my bot as public. So if you want, you can invite my bot by going to either the description or the pinned comment, and the invite link will be there. So um, until next time, uh, we will see each other soon, I hope, and um, enjoy your day, and see ya!